Solutions like AimLab and Kovax provide immense value to anyone looking to improve what is undeniably one of the most essential skills a competitive FPS player could have. Well-practiced and consistent aim. However, since aim trainers and their applications as a whole are still in their relative infancy, it's hard to know how to get the most out of your practice time or even trust if it's working for you. Preparation plays a major role in the confidence you have to perform well when it matters most, and not knowing where to initially direct your efforts is a normal issue that's shared amongst thousands of players. This pitfall centered around a lack of direction is what incited the creation of the Voltaic Benchmarks, a structured system designed to give aim training players a clear path to success. The Benchmarks achieve this by establishing a ranking system that is traversed by reaching specific high score targets. These score targets are set for custom-made scenarios, all designed to assess different variables involved in aiming. The ranks for both our AimLab and Kovax users are Iron, Bronze, Silver, and Gold for novice players, Platinum, Diamond, Jade, and Master for intermediate players, and Grand Master, Nova, Astra, and Celestial for advanced players. To get up and running quickly, all you need is your aim trainer of choice and the associated progression sheet. Using the Novice tab of the Aim Lab progression sheet as an example, you'll notice that scenarios are broken up into distinct forms of aiming that are the most relevant to modern competitive shooters. In the A column, all the major mouse control categories as determined by Voltaic are listed. Clicking, tracking, and switching all have their use cases across many different games, and they've been further partitioned into subcategories to classify specific variations of the same overall type of training. In the C column, all the benchmark scenarios for their respective difficulty levels are listed by name, alongside deep links in the D column that take you directly to the scenario in AimLab when selected. As of the creation of this video, this specific feature is currently unavailable in Kovax. Further off to the right-hand side of the spreadsheet, you'll see all of the difficulty levels as ranks, as well as their associated score targets. The targets are intended to be a minimum threshold for your highest score achieved on a given scenario, with your to be written and rewritten in the F column denoted with a high score header. These scores can be entered manually in the sheet, and all rank calculations will then be executed in the background. These scores can also be entered with the Auto Updater, a custom program designed to take scores directly from your aim trainer and enter them into your spreadsheet. While there's no harm in attempting to pass a specific score target, they aren't the end-all be-all for achieving a rank placement. With the introduction of a new point system we call Energy, aiming for preset score targets becomes more of a choice as opposed to a requirement. The energy system allows for players to focus on mouse control aspects that are most applicable to their respective game. Since the highest scoring scenario from each subcategory awards energy, and our base ranks are determined by passing a certain energy threshold, your weaker aspects won't hold you back as much as they would have in previous seasons. The benchmark subcategories within the broader category have partial likeness to each other while still being able to be distinguished as separate by any experienced player. Dynamic clicking assesses a player's ability to proficiently dispatch moving single-click elimination targets. These targets' movements are usually partially evasive, typically combining direction changes with larger strafes. Static clicking involves transitioning from one stationary point to another as optimally as possible. The larger the target, the more speed-focused the smaller, the more precision-focused. Precise tracking is all about keeping your crosshair on an invincible target, making smooth strafes that are usually relatively straightforward on a macro level. However, the difficulty in these scenarios usually comes from the minuscule adjustments the target will make along its path. These can be slight changes in speed and direction that are designed to test your perception and ability to adapt. Reactive tracking also centers around tracing an invincible target, but here the target's path is aggressively sporadic for the entire duration of the scenario being played. Significant changes in speed and direction are constant, 
unpredictable, and require expert adaptation from those who play. Speed switching requires players to rapidly eliminate targets with small amounts of health, as well as efficiently time their transitions to other targets. Evasive switching scenarios also contain targets that need to be tracked for a short period to be eliminated. However, their paths are less predictable. The movements made are comparable to that of dynamic clicking targets that were discussed earlier. A non-overwhelming amount of direction changes coupled with larger strafes. This requires slightly more diligence in eliminating each target, thus reducing the speed with which several targets can be eliminated. It's important to keep in mind that the benchmarks are meant to serve as tests of your overall progress. Use them to find your weaknesses, identify what needs your attention the most, and inform how you'll structure your practice. When it comes to the practice itself, the benchmarks should barely be involved, if at all. Find scenarios and routines that focus your weaknesses outside of the benchmarks, and give yourself goals to aim for within your respective training. Once you feel like you've reasonably progressed, you should be able to return to the benchmarks and see the results of your practice. Remember that there are logical rules to aiming and mouse control. If your self-constructed practice routine doesn't seem to be helping, ask someone to help you identify these rules as well as their fixes as they pertain to you. This is Trusty Mix from Take. Thank you for watching the video. I really hope you liked it. If so, feel free to hit the like button, comment if you want us to offer any feedback. And if you want to learn more about us, join us at discord.g slash Voltaic. Also, make sure to follow our other socials on Twitter and Twitch, which you can find in the description. And hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon to get notified about future montages, guides, and announcements, and more. All of us will take. Look forward to seeing you again soon.